So um, we're talking today about uh, mirror work. Why are we talking about mirror work? Because right now we are focusing on the inside, right? We're focusing on you. I'm focusing on me. We are building you, then your business, okay? I want you to learn how to be proactive and not reactive. We don't want the outside world to determine um, who you are, how you are, how much money you make, what your business does, any of that. You want to be able to, you know, bob and weave, okay? So in order to do that, you have to be whole. You have to be able to um, work from the inside out, okay? Glow in any type of darkness, right? So um, right now, I want to touch on mirror work. Well, what the heck is mirror work? It's exactly what it sounds like. You're working in the mirror, okay? You are in the mirror with yourself, all by yourself, dealing with yourself. Okay, taking care of yourself. All right, it's a major part of self care, but it's also a major part of self transformation. Okay, so um, the di one thing that I'm going to tell you different about mirror work than other people will tell you is mirror work is a two way street. Okay, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but remember that mirror work is a two way street. Basically, in a nutshell, Mirror work is looking at yourself in the mirror, facing yourself, like looking yourself in the eye and getting to know you, okay? And um, this is when you want to do your affirmations, right? This is when you want to encourage yourself. This is where you, um, you befriend yourself, right? So many times you're not winning because you don't have anybody on your team. The first person you need on your team is you. And you can establish that when you're doing mirror work. Because one thing that whether you know it or not, but one thing you got to understand, the first person criticizing you is always you. So instead of being the first criticism, be the first encouragement. And that all starts in the mirror. So I'm going to go over um, a few things that you can do in your mirror work and certain ways to um, certain ways to do your mirror work. All right. So for at least five minutes a day, it can be in the morning. It can be at night before you go to bed. It can be anytime you pass a mirror during the day. But for at least five minutes a day, take the time to look at yourself in the mirror. OK, if you don't if you're never around mirrors, you have a selfie function on your phone, but you need to look, look yourself in the face. OK, and when you are looking at yourself in the mirror, the first time you do it. You don't have to say anything. Just sit and look at yourself in the eyes for five minutes. OK, it's OK to blink. Nobody can sit for five minutes without blinking. OK, but look at yourself in the eyes. Look at yourself in the face. And just sit there. Feel whatever you feel. Think whatever you think. Um, whatever goes, just let it flow. Some people do this and they're boohoo crying because they're realizing what they've been missing all this time, right? I don't want to intimidate you. I don't want to scare you off from doing it because I know a lot of people don't like to tap into their emotions, but it is so important for you to be able to get in touch with you so that you can move forward, right? So just look at yourself in the mirror. Sit there for a minute. Take it all in. And when you start to uh, incorporate your affirmations, make sure, okay, first, what is an affirmation? An affirmation is affirming. OK, affirming something that uh, that, you know, to be true. OK, so you cannot look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself a lie. OK, so for you to say if it's hard for you to say something like I am wealthy because you don't have any money in your bank account or whatever, your your subconscious is like, girl, bye. 
Okay? No, you're not. It was nice saying it, but no, you're not. Okay? Let's be real. No. Be completely honest with yourself. Your affirmations, it doesn't have to be you telling yourself something that has not happened. Yes, we all believe in the law of attraction and saying positive things. And if you say it enough, it's going to come true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't matter if you're saying something and you don't believe it. Okay. So you can say, instead of saying, I am wealthy, when you really don't feel wealthy, then you say, I am gaining wealth. Or I am learning how to grow my bank account. I am getting closer and closer to being rich, right? In saying I'm getting closer and closer, you're not pushing it far away. Now, if you say something like, I want to be rich, you're going to always want to be rich. But if you're saying I'm getting closer and closer, you start to feel that. And as you start to feel like you're getting closer and closer, then you can go to the next level and say, I am creating wealth, right? Might not have all the wealth, but you are creating the wealth, right? So this is how you um, gradually build your affirmations because you got to build a belief, okay? You have to build a belief. If you don't believe what you're saying, how are you building a belief? So it's all about believing what you're saying. Oh, side note, my shirt is backwards for y'all, but it says we are rich. And this this is this shirt. I don't know why I decided to interject this right now, but anyway... Um, because it's kind of like an affirmation and what this is the shirt for my, um, my youth group. I have a youth mentor, a group of kids that I mentor and I teach them wealth strategies. So, um, well, well, I wouldn't say wealth strategies, but I teach them financial literacy. Now we are rich. This is an affirmation that they know to be true they say we are rich because they are because i teach them to um understand the full riches of life right are you happy are you healthy are you whole um are you growing your money are you growing your money mindset are you achieving goals right these are the riches of life and it says below that, okay, I don't know if y'all can see it, but below the we are rich, it says rebel intellects changing history. That's what rich stands for, rebel intellects changing history. But that's um, teaching them that rich does not necessarily have anything to do with the amount of money you have because most of them only have about $100, right? I mean, a couple of them have whole Bitcoins, right? They they got more than me, but they, well, in Bitcoin, but they are, um, they are learning richness as a, from a holistic perspective, okay? So as you are moving into, um, going into your affirmations, like take it from a holistic, um, a holistic point of view. Hey, everybody, as y'all hop on, say hello. And if you're feeling what I'm saying, drop something in the comments. Like, let me know. Let me know if you're following what I'm saying or if you have any questions. So, anyway, um, as we, uh, as you're doing your affirmations, do not look yourself in the face and tell a lie. Okay? That's what you, you do not want to do that. Because now you don't trust yourself. Right? You When you say, I'm going to do something, now you're not going to do it. Because you don't even trust yourself. Uh, when it comes to your affirmations and what you believe. So you have to make it believable for yourself. You have to say things that you actually believe. Something that you can get on board with. Because your reality is a reflection of what you honestly believe. But basically, your life is a reflection of what you have always believed. Your tomorrow is going to be a reflection of what you're believing today. So make sure that what you're believing today is in alignment with where you want to be tomorrow. So um, also another thing with mirror work, you don't want, um, you're going to do your affirmations and make sure that they're believable, but you also want to have that connection with yourself. You want to make sure that you know that you're on your side. You can exactly, you can say exactly that. I'm in your corner. Say your name. I'm in your corner, kid. I got your back. If nobody else got your back, I got your back. Right? Also, um, 
get to the point. Everybody can't say it off gate, okay? But you want to get to the point where you can tell yourself, I love you. You have to know that. When you make a mistake, that's a perfect time to do some mirror work. You made a mistake, go in the mirror and you know what? It's okay. Yeah, this happened. It's okay. Mistakes happen. We'll get them next time. Right? We're going to try this again. This is not... you. So many times we beat ourselves up. Like all day long. This is the time for you to heal those wounds. This is the time for you to make up with yourself. This is the time for you to reassure yourself. Even though when you were in the car, you were so upset with yourself. Right? I thought about it. We're good now. It's not that bad. The sun will come out tomorrow, right? So connect with yourself. Be there for yourself. Tell yourself, I love you. Now, back to the point that I mentioned earlier. I said I'll touch on that later. This is the part where most people won't tell you this, right? But when you're in the mirror, actually have the conversation with yourself. This is not the time to talk to yourself. You're talking with yourself, right? Doing that, you're uncovering those things that um, you may be harboring. You're uncovering those things that are like, you know, I, um, let's say, you know, you made a mistake, okay? Or... You missed out on a sale or whatever, and you're beating yourself up. You're all upset about it. It's like, yeah, like what's going on right now? Don't just say what's going on right now and move on to the next thing. Answer yourself. Like you're talking to a person. You're talking to yourself. What's going on right now? Man, I had the conversation with the person, and it just, I think I just... I think I just wasn't hearing them out and I, and I missed out on it. I, I wasn't able to show up. So why do you think you weren't able to show up? What do you think was holding you back? Okay. You, this is how you can coach yourself through any situation. Mirror work will completely take you to the next level. I want to back up because I forgot to tell you this about affirmations with your affirmations also um a lot of people like to write down their affirmations or put their affirmations on the mirror when you're saying your affirmations looking up here reading your affirmation is not working if you read that affirmation and then bring it back and say it and connect it connect to yourself while you're saying it okay no my immune system is strong that's a good one okay my immune system is strong instead of me up here reading my immune system is strong I'm right here. I'm talking to myself. I'm telling myself, my immune system is strong. Your immune system is strong, right? And not only that, but you're going to be so in it, like you want to feel it. Now, this is what I do. Now, don't tell nobody, but this is this is me, right? I get in the mirror. I'm like, girl, you, oh, oh, somebody fine today. Yes, you fine today. Look at you doing it today, okay? So I'm having a conversation with myself. I'm having fun with myself. I love myself. Oh, I oh, I love you today. Like I, I love you every day. You are you are so gorgeous. And you you are so you are so smart. That creativity is just glowing all over you today. Okay? So have a whole conversation with yourself. Talk it out. Talk about the wins. Talk about the losses. Gas yourself up. If nobody around you is gassing you up, get in the mirror and gas yourself. Okay? Gas yourself up. There's nothing wrong with arrogance. Okay? And I have said it once. I said it before and I'll say it again. Modesty is for suckers, especially in the mirror. Right here with yourself, that is not the place to be unsure. That is not the place to second guess yourself this is not the place to have low self-esteem this is where we heal the low self-esteem this is where we reassure all the wonderful things about ourselves and those things that we don't like 
Talk yourself through that. Why you don't like it. Love yourself through it. If you don't like your weight, for example, it may be hard to look at yourself in the mirror unclothed. Start with clothes on looking at yourself in the mirror and talk yourself through. If there's something you don't like, be like, you know what? I'm I'm still fine, but I do want to do something about this little swinging thing under my arm. Like, I don't like that. But it's a part of me. And I can accept that being a part of me. That doesn't mean we can't work on improving it. What are we going to do to improve it? Are we going to commit to actually making that happen? I think we should. I think we should, should commit to doing a couple arm exercises a day. Because at the end of the day, I want to be healthy. Yeah, healthy is something that we want to do. So... Let's do some exercises every day. I probably should do these exercises in front of the mirror. If we need to do this together, then we'll do this together. Because I got your back. I got your back regardless. If the swingy thing on your arm don't go nowhere, that's cool. Because I still love you. All day. Every day. Swinging arms and everything. Right? So that's that's where you are. You have to be right there. You got to be your own best friend. If you would... Like, sometimes... There are things that you wouldn't say to your best friend. But you have to be like that best friend that you can say anything to. I can say anything to my best friend because my best friend always has my back. I'm not going to down my best friend. If if my best friend makes a mistake, I'm going to be 100 with my friend and tell them, look, you know that was wrong. But I'm also going to love them through it and say this is how we can fix it. Right? So that's that's where we are, guys. That's what I want you to start working on. You still got a couple weeks before this new year comes in. This is not something that you rush through. You don't have to stop when this year ends. This is something I want you to carry on through the rest of your life. Like you don't have to do mirror work every day for the rest of your life. But I want you to start building that relationship within yourself so that the rest of your life can be amazing. So that you have somebody in your corner the rest of your life. Guess who's not ever going to leave you? Okay. You're never going to leave yourself. You're, you can catch your reflection anywhere. Anytime you pass yourself, hey boo, look at you. What is the, what's that one thing that you like to hear? That maybe you don't hear it all the time. Say it. Every time you catch a mirror. Hey sexy. <laughs> Whatever it is. Like, Man, you're brilliant. Take it to the mirror. Okay? And just remember that even... If things are not great, right? Even if everything is not hunky-dory, you can, in that moment, take it to the mirror and talk through it. You know what? We made a mistake. This is not the best time. That was not the best decision. But let's talk about how we can make this better. Let's talk about the mistakes we made, how we can fix it, how to do it right the next time. Let's talk it out. Oh, yeah? What do you think we should do next? Yeah, that actually is a good idea. Or maybe instead of doing that, maybe we should do it this way. Listen to yourself. Respond to yourself. They always say, I have always heard, you know, everybody talks to yourself. It's just the crazy ones that respond. Listen here. If you want to get anywhere, you'll respond. Have that whole two-sided conversation with you and the you in the mirror. Talk it out. Don't talk at yourself. Talk with yourself, okay? That's all I have for you today, guys. So have an amazing day on purpose with purpose. Um, As always, guys, be incredible.